I've been feeling the color of this coat lately. If you want to hear about it, stick around. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. So what's this about me feeling a bit low, a bit blue? Like, is that a thing? Like, first, I seem to have a pretty good life. I have this, this thriving YouTube channel with subscribers like yourselves, which are often watching these videos, giving me positive comments, feedback. Got a pretty healthy family. I have some pretty healthy critters. Here's Murray, the former diabetic who occasionally stars some of the videos. He's got a pretty darn good attitude. I mean, he's got this catitude, right? He knows what he now wants. Wants food, attention, to chill sometimes, know what he doesn't want. But overall, he's, he's like, you seem pretty content, Murray. I mean, well, it could be more like him. Mm-hmm. Tula, she's pretty darn healthy. You, and she's got like the greatest little attitude. You're like, oh, I, I don't know if you're ever down. You're like, I'm ready to go. Of course, maybe the one time she might be down is when the cat might beat up on her. Mean Murray. You don't get enough attention. But you're like, you just give her what she wants. Food, attention, love. You get to run, pee, repeat, and you're happy. I mean, like, this bone, like, he's... This can make her like the happiest thing. She doesn't care if it's minus 23 outside. There's still snow. There's taxes to pay. Obligili ob obligations, obligilities. Those big heavy weighted responsibilities of being an adult. I mean, see this crazy pink sweater. Some people, you know, have issues with wearing pink. It's not in style. It doesn't look so good. It's out of date. Makes me slightly itchy. Oh, Tula? Um, as well, you can also maybe comment on her. She recently had a haircut. She had to take that pretty well, too. And put this thing on, and she's like, jazz. She's like, alrighty. We are going for a walk. Oh, go, girl. Okay, go, girl. You could, okay, you want to stay there? You know, I've done a bunch of things. Um, practice as a veterinarian for nearly 20 years. Own my own practice. Uh, Got additional training in orthopedic surgery, um, developed a whole additional alternative side of veterinary medicine, was able to kind of sell my practice after dealing with my vet college, moved on to you know, this whole uh, online business, I'm focusing on helping people such as yourself, you know, become more empowered, you know, treating your dogs and cats holistically at home. I mean, I, there's a bunch of things. I've always also been fairly active volunteer-wise, you know, advocating for change, uh, be it social change, uh, in particular if it could also involve animals, you know, started this non-profit animal shelter, second chance animal shelter. I mean, here, you know, when I, I lived in Halifax and Nova Scotia for a few years, and we started this sort of pet visitation program uh, at the Children's Hospital in Halifax. And there's my first dog that in practice, Hoochie, and there he is visiting uh, this young child who has kidney disease. So, I mean, I've been super active. I've done a lot of stuff. Generally, I'm a pretty, like, positive, happy person. But, eh, not, you know, lately, I've been feeling it quite the same. But, yeah, it's winter. Um, I think a big part of it for myself has been, you know, within the last sort of a year and a half, I've had three friends, one especially close, die. You know, a couple people had cancer. Uh, unfortunately, you know, not even 50. Um, another friend of mine um, has had some sort of tragic kind of life story that led, went from, you know, being quite successful, going down to this spiral of addiction and hopefully ended up dying from. So I'm sort of, you know, you, you kind of get to that point of like, holy frig, what's going on? Definitely I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for, you know, friends, family, and this can be an others in my life, including my pets, along with you know, all the things that I've had or been able to do and accomplish. Um, pretty sure I'm going to feel better once kind of the clouds kind of lift. 
I mean, uh, and I, I mean that literally, you know, when we still have this kind of extended winter, I love winter, love snow, I ski in it, but maybe it's time for a bit of a change. Although the funny thing is, I almost find like speaking to the camera to be a little bit of therapy. And I, I have a difficulty having that same conversation with say a neighbor who I, I would consider a friend, I mean, not necessarily a close friend, and maybe that's another whole issue unto itself. Um, but yeah, I can talk to you guys through the camera and actually already doing that, I feel better. Maybe there's my answer. Make more confessional YouTube videos. Regardless, thanks for listening. Thanks for being a subscriber. Um, if you have yet to do so, once again, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click that link in the box below. Thirdly, you know, I definitely welcome suggestions, questions, and comments. And keep those coming. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. It's Dr. Jones.